Hey everybody, Teching101 here, back again uh, from my trip to TechoCon in Pittsburgh. I just got back yesterday, I had work earlier today, so I got back and I was really exhausted, but I met so many awesome people at Teco. I met so many fans there, most I've ever met in my three years going there. And, um, you know, they all told me basically the same thing. They all told me, hey, Matt, love what you're doing. Just keep it up. And I'm just like, oh, okay, I'll try. I don't I don't really know what it is I'm doing, but I'll keep doing it. And I got back, and I had, like, a fire lit under my ass, you know? Like, let's, I'm, I'm tired, but let's do this. Let's make it freaking video. I filmed a 37-minute One Piece review, like, an hour ago, and my mic was on mute the entire time, so... Absolutely none of that is usable. Let me just... Okay, we're good. Um, but I, I really want to get something out. I want to get something out. I don't care what it is. So I'm like, okay, what else can I talk about? And I'm thinking, okay, well, My Hero Academia is back. I bought a wall scroll. So I'm thinking maybe about making that another series I can talk about. Because the series is now getting... The, the anime is now covering the arc that I kind of like started reading My Hero Academia ad. Like it was right around the time of the um, the summer f uh, training camp arc. That's when I started reading the series and that's when I got caught up to it, like reading it on a weekly basis. So uh, I'm really pumped. And the first episode of season three, Game Start is really more just a recap episode. So this is not going to be so much. I'll be talking about the episode, but for the most part, I'll just be talking about season three and what I'm excited for and all that stuff. So yeah, first episode is really just, it's like half of it is just a recap of all of the different students' quirks and abilities. Aizawa is going over it um, with the Class B teacher, and he's just like, oh yeah, here's all the, uh, the quirks from Class 1A. And so he just like, there's clips that just show. He goes through all of them too, all 20 students. Um, the only thing to bring up there that I'm kind of interested in is like, okay, well, what's he going to say when he gets to Midoriya? And, um, I don't know if this has ever been stated, what, like, Midoriya calls, what, like, what his quirk is called to his other classmates, because he obviously can't say he has one for all. So, um, when, uh, Aizawa got to it, he just referred to it as superpower, and it's like he can either increase the strength of part of his body or his whole body at once, and that was, like, a general thing. So, I'm imagining in this world where quirks are abundant, probably, like, basic quirks that just increase your physical stats are probably just called like super power, super speed, you know, things like that of that nature. Um, although they, they usually have really clever names beyond that, but okay, fine. We'll just say, yeah, he just goes around and just says, oh yeah, my quirk is super power. Yeah, you know, I just, I get stronger and that's pretty much it. Um, so that was something interesting there. Afterwards, uh, after we go through a recap of all the class 1A quirks, he kind of mentions, okay, we should probably go over class B as well, but then he gets interrupted. And I'm like, you know, you could have, because I'm pretty sure we're all caught up at season three of the show. I'm pretty sure we're all caught up on Class 1A's quirks. I mean, it's nice to give you a little refresher, but Class 1B is the one that we're really interested in, of course. And we know all of Class 1B's quirks. We do. We don't know how they all function in terms of, like, combat situations, but at least we know what they are all called, I believe. So I was looking forward to that. I was looking forward to finding out Class 1B. Now, of course, during the training camp arc, that's where Class Class 1B is really going to shine, and we're going to find out a lot more about, like, Tetsu Tetsu. He has a big shining moment there. Uh, so Aizawa gets interrupted by Kaminari and Minata, and they're trying to schedule the time for the pool at the school. And as soon as they said pool, and I'm like, after I realized this was a recap episode, I'm like, this is their fan service episode, isn't it? And you know what? It kind of flipped it on its side for me. It is a fan service episode, but it's way more for the guys than it is for... I mean, it's way more, I guess, fan service aimed at the girls than the guys. Because um, in terms of the Class 1A, the females, it's mostly... Like, there's one image of Minata where he envisions them all wearing sexy bikinis and everything. But beyond that, it's, it's, it's mostly focused on the guys. So, you know what? Um, it's cool to get the opposite. Okay, fine. Also, as you would probably imagine, pretty much all the guys in Class 1A are just jacked with, like, you know, prison-sculpted abs or whatever without even going to prison. It's crazy. So, uh, yeah, that's mostly that. And we got some funny scenes with Ida there, who they, they all show up at the pool, like Minata and Kaminari. They had, like, this plan to try to figure out a way to get them all, you know, in, in bikinis and everybody like that. Like, yes, this is our plan. And they're running to the pool, and Ida's there wearing, like, a swimming cap, and he's like, he's like, ah, you're late! Greetings, everyone! And they face plan against the freaking pavement. 
isn't it? So, um, the rest of the episode pretty much just deals with uh, uh, the Class 1A kids getting into a competition. You see who's the best swimmer, like, to swim to the end of the pool, like a race. And every time that a new student comes up, it's like, you know, here's uh, Bakugo, and then we get flashbacks of Bakugo and, uh, and Midoriya's, like, backstory and, like, what they've been up to up until this point in the story. And then we have Todoroki, and we get flashbacks to the, uh, the, the uh, sports festival arc where you had the confrontation there between Todoroki and uh, Midoriya talking about his father Endeavor and everything like that. So that's really where the recap section is. And at the very end of the episode, right when we're getting to the final race, we have uh, Midoriya, Todoroki, and Bakugo all ready to go and race to the end of the pool. That's when Aizawa shows up and uses his uh, quirk to, you know, erase their, their, uh, their abilities. And he's like, the pool time's over. Get the hell out. <laughs> so that's that. Um, and, and okay, so that's pretty much the episode just to set up for what's to come for season three and the uh, the uh, training camp arc, as well as the hideout raid arc. And this is all shown in the opening. As for the opening itself, um, you know, when I'm ever watching uh, an anime opening, it, I feel like a, all the really good ones, all the really catchy ones, and this isn't, this isn't like absolute, but they always have like a slow buildup and then they reach a point where they just spike, and then it just goes down, and it spikes again, like the high energy moving. I feel like that in this intro didn't really have that. In fact, I really feel like it kind of just petered out near the end. I really feel like it didn't have a strong finish. I guess that's the best criticism I have of it. Um, but I've listened to it a few times, and it's it's definitely warmed on me since the first time I heard it. Uh, I actually listened to this in my hotel room the first time when I was... Um, at Teco, because I was like, what, season three, it's out? Okay, sure. And I, I listened to the opening, I'm like, eh, that's kind of, that's, that's not as great, I like the other ones better, but um, it's it's growing on me, so we'll see how it goes, but um, yeah, so you have the training camp arc, of course, the Wild Wild Pussycats are going to be making their appearance in this arc, you also have Class 1B that I mentioned, of course, we have a slew of new villains being introduced for, like, like they get in battle in this arc, uh, we have Dobby, we have Toga, we have Muscular, we have Mr. Compress, the, 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 these characters have been shown before, but this is the time they're really going to show off and face off against 1A, um, so I'm really pumped for all those guys uh it's you, toga and dobby i think are really popular muscular and eh, not so much muscular is just well he's a meathead it's his quirk is just i get really freaking strong and huge and buff i'm broly bam but uh his fight with deku that's gonna be a high point and i believe we're just gonna end out the season with the hideout raid um how else i mean the uh, all might versus one for all i mean like how can you like what how do you follow up that in a season like okay we're going to follow that up with the hero provisional license exam, and that's like the last few episodes of the season. Like, no, that's probably going to be where we're going to cut it off. Um, that's the best place to do it, because so much changes after that fight that I think we need to take a breather afterwards, you know, because the world really does change, and the whole tone of it just kind of, even, even the tone of the whole series as a whole, kind of shifts a little bit after that fight. And ever since I first read it, it actually just got released, um... In, in Tonkoban, in the English, uh, in the in the Viz, uh, the fight with uh, All for One and uh, All Might, and uh, yeah, that that like bringing back memories from when I first read that, and I, I remember very distinctly thinking, I cannot wait until this is animated because that's gonna blow my mind. Um, but that's probably gonna be where we're gonna end that out. And um, with that being said, I think I think this arc, uh, I don't know if it's ever been if it's been stated how many episodes we got from this one, but I don't think it's probably gonna be as long as season two. Um, with that being said, they could always kind of do the thing they did where they, uh, they could, like, like, make it break up into different, like, cause, like, the opening of this season only really showed the, the, uh, um, training camp arc and the hideout raid. But if you remember, season two had two openings, so you could always say that, you know, they could break that up there. Maybe there'll be a little break in between, and then we'll cut away to the, like, the provisional license exam, I think, comes right after the hideout raid stuff. Um, there's, like, a little buffer arc in between there. It's like everybody's, like, they're moving into the dorms and all that stuff. So maybe we'll end out like that, but if this little section's going to end with just the, the big brawl like that, I'm fine with that, man. I'm cool. It's fine. Um, so looking forward to that. Um, don't know if I'm going to do weekly reviews of this because I believe My Hero Academia is released um, in the States. It would be like Friday night going into like Saturday morning in the States. That's when like I think I think Saturdays is when it airs. So like Friday night might be when it gets uploaded on the net. Um, 
So, um, I, thanks for watching. I don't know if I'm going to be doing weekly reviews of this. Um, I think My Hero Academia airs on Saturdays uh, in Japan. So, I don't know how my schedule is really going to fit with that. But if I have the opportunity to do it, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Um, especially when we get into the serious brawls. Because I have to kind of fill time slot now because uh, Dragon Ball Super ended. And, you know, I could always talk about One Piece. And I thought about it. But uh, I've already kind of reviewed the chapters that the episodes are covering. So, I don't want to be redundant. I kind of want to talk about something different. And My Hero Academia. I've kind of been toying with the last few years, you know, it's like I do videos on it every now and then um, But I do love the series and I, I could be interested in talking about it again So we'll see where this season goes. Hope you guys are pumped. Let me know what you think of the new opening Let me know what you think of the first episode. Let me know what you think of all that stuff I'm gonna get to bed because I'm very tired right now But uh, and, and the one piece review will be reshot tomorrow that um, to do that all over again But um, I made I made some mistakes, so it's probably good to go back and redo it Thanks for watching, everybody. This will be Teching 101, signing out.